Welcome back to my channel. Thank you all for stopping by. All you who have been rocking with me, you know, I appreciate you so much. And uh, for all of those who are new and watching my channel, I appreciate you. I hope you enjoy what you hear and what you see. Um, please leave me a comment. Let me know. Let me know what you think how something touched you, you know, that, that helps me a lot. Um, I think I just got a little excited. No, I was, uh, under the weather today, but I prayed before I got on here and I was like, Lord, please give me what I need for your people. Because I know I'm normally energetic and all of that, but, uh, I was like, I am not feeling that Jesus. And then it's gloomy outside, so I'm like, uh, and, but I know I needed to get on here and share. Um, but, you know, getting on here and just beginning to address you guys is, it's, it just, you know, I felt that warmth and I felt God touch my heart. And so there's clearly something that he wants to do through me and clearly people that he wants to reach. And uh, thank you, Lord, because that is a great segue into the topic for today. Today, we are talking about feeling like you are isolated, like you're the only one experiencing something or going through a situation and how, one, you're not, and two, you're in a great position um, when you do experience something heavy. So let's get into it. So oftentimes when uh, we go through something, um, especially if you're an introvert, y'all just found out I think I'm an introvert. That's weird. I just never thought of myself like that. I'm just too loud and crazy. I don't, that doesn't make sense to me. Does that make, does, does that make sense? Anyway, um, yeah, so, a lot of times we go through something and we're kind of in our own bubble going through it. And um, some of us don't like to just talk about our stuff, um, don't like to um, just include a lot of people in the issues that we may be experiencing. It may be a pride issue, it may be a fear issue. Um, and when we're in those moments, sometimes, it feels like we may be the only one experiencing this. Um, or it feels like, yeah, you know, maybe there's other people who have experienced this, but my situation is so drastic. And who cares if somebody else experiences it? Or I mean, it's me now. And it's scary. And it is a lot to deal with. But um, isolation is one thing that the enemy likes to do it's one of the things that he does well uh in order to get um get some leverage so that he can affect us um when we feel alone when we feel like we're the only ones experiencing something um it's easy for us to go down that rabbit hole of thinking about our future and how it looks grim because we're experiencing this or how um you know, we're not going to be able to come out of this um, like we thought or, you know, what is the outcome going to be? You know, what will people think? You know, um, who's going to want me after this? Or who's going to believe in me after this? Or it's easy to start going to different places once we get isolated, once we feel like it's just us or it's a huge problem that even though others have gone through it, that people don't want to see me going through this. People want it, don't hear my story or they're not going to give it the attention that I need. They're not going to help me. And I just want to tell you that 
the verdict doesn't change, okay? In every case, the devil is a liar. Every case. It's not that he's lying less right here a little bit. It's not that, okay, well, yeah, but maybe it's just, you know, me, it's my thoughts. I mean, it really don't have anything to do with I just think that this is just a lot that I'm going through. In every case, the enemy is a liar. And in every case, he hopes that this is the thing that will cause your ultimate demise. In every case. And when I say every case, I mean every case. So don't start isolating yourself and thinking that you are the only one. Um, Don't start beating up on yourself. A lot of times the amount of stress we put on ourselves when we go through something is because we feel that our situation is so bad. You know, we look at ourselves and say, okay, Yeah, I'm going through something. Look at how bad this is. Look at, look at, look at all the stuff that people are going to be thinking when they find out. And we have to reevaluate what we're, what we're doing to ourselves. If we can look at our situation and say, this is something I'm going through, but this isn't abnormal. The enemy is always out to get me. And Yes, this is a bad situation, but there are people out there who want to help. There are people who care. There are people who can relate, who are going through the same things that I'm going through. Then you don't start beating yourself up so badly, but it's the isolation. It is It is the, when we start making it just about us, that's when it starts to get so, so heavy and we start to get so down on ourselves. It would be lighter if we knew that the load was shared and that there were others. So remember in these moments that there is always someone else who is experiencing what you are experiencing. And remember that there is a purpose for you going through what you're going through. Um, When you are going through when you're experiencing something, it may be a tough thing to go there and say that, I'm sure somebody feel me out there. I'm sure somebody can get me. But know that the, know that that's the truth. That's been a hard thing for me to say that there are others out there who are like me. It's so interesting that we can go out here in the world all day and see so many people out here and just so many different kinds of people. We can see things on TV, people going through different situations. But still, whenever we start going through something, we start to think that it's just us. And we start to think that it's far-fetched to think that someone else is experiencing this. We, We don't let our minds go there. We don't remember that part, that there are others. And we need to keep that in perspective. We need to remember that there are others. There is always someone else. Whenever I was younger, I remember the teacher saying, you know, it's not, there is no dumb question because it is likely that the question that you have, there is someone else in the classroom who has that same question, but may not have the guts to ask. And so you are answering a question for other people too. So there is no dumb question. And I love that philosophy because that is so true. That is so true. It's easy to to get in that moment and think that it's just me, but it's not just you. I promise it's not. I promise it's not. It doesn't matter what you're experiencing. It doesn't matter how weird, how strange. There is someone else. There is someone else who has experienced it. And here is the part that I love. There are people who will value the the rich information uh the, the what you've learned the lessons that you've learned from your situation if there are other people out there who are experiencing what you're experiencing that means that there are other people out there who need help they need what you get get something while you're in this situ- 
Get something while you're in this situation. Don't just let it be a thing that you are experiencing and then you just let it destroy you and then that's it. No, if you're going to be heavily affected by this thing, if you're going to be upset about it, if you're going to let it just, you know, wear on you, your hair falling out, you you mean to everybody, if you're going to let it do that to you, then you better take something from this. Learn something from this. What can somebody else glean from it? Have you thought about if you feel this strongly about what you're going through, imagine the other people that are going through this? Think about that. In the moment that you are experiencing what you're going through, that's the moment the light bulb should come on and say, wow, this is what they feel. Wow. The moment that you are feeling depressed or down, think about the people who are beginning to, to be suicidal, to have suicidal thoughts. Right there in that moment, God has given you a glimpse and allowed you to understand just for a moment how these people in these dire situations are feeling. You just got a glimpse of what somebody feels when they're starting to spiral out of control. What kind of leverage do you have now that you know how someone is feeling in a whole other part of the world, maybe even next door? What leverage do you have that you're not in their exact situation, but you've now gotten a glimpse of what they could possibly be feeling. I, I feel that that is so rich to have that, to have insight on someone else's situation, but not be all the way in it. That gives you the leverage. You can help. You can pray for those people. You can go in for those people. Whenever I experience something or, and, and it's a, it's a, a very profound feeling or thought or emotion or whatever, I start to think, man, if this is feeling like this, I imagine what others feel like. When I go before you guys and give my information, I, rem I and, and, I'm, and I'm studying before um, or throughout the week, whenever I'm thinking of things that would help you guys, things that are helping me that I can share, I think about what do pastors do? What are these these leaders who are sharing the good news, how do they feel? How do things weigh on them? What is it that tugs on their hearts? Now, I may not be in that seat, hold that seat, hold that title, but I'm getting a glimpse of what it's like. And if this is stressful at times for me, then I can't imagine the weight that those ministers and those preachers and pastors carry so that makes me say, God, my God, let me pray for these people. I can't imagine. Let me pray for these people. God, help them. If I feel this, Lord God, I can't imagine what they're feeling. Help them. Help them as they go forward. Help them with the weight that they feel. Help them to keep going. Start identifying everything you're feeling in that moment. In those moments where I get stressed and I'm like, this is heavy, Lord. There's so much, Lord. I don't know. It, you know, am I even worthy to be sharing this information with your people? And there are so many things that I'm feeling and I can identify those feelings. And I start speaking and praying about every one of those feelings. Yes, in my own life, but for those who are sitting in those seats, having to do this day in and day out. God, help those people who are feeling unworthy. Help those people who are getting up, those pastors, those preachers, those teachers who are getting up and who may be nervous that day or may be going through, may not feel good that day, who still have to go in and give your people a word. I help those people. You're in the perfect position to be an advocate for people that you don't even know. Can you believe that God has put people in this earth that are praying for you right now? Just, just like what I just did right now, praying for those people. I, I may not know them personally, but I'm praying for them. And if that is happening right here, guess what's happening for me somewhere else? Can you believe that God has placed people in this earth to pray for me who don't even know me? And God has done that same thing for you. There are people praying for you that you don't even know about. So be that same person. You're in the perfect position. When you feel isolated, use that. You know that this is a moment that God is magnifying in my eyes. 
to say that, yeah, somebody's feeling this. You feel that? You hear that? Somebody's feeling that. Somebody's thinking that. Pray. Because the enemy is trying to lie to my people. He's trying to tell them that this is it. He's trying to make them feel this and ultimately cause their demise. I need you to take what I just let you feel and I need you to rescue my people. I need you to pray for them. So listen, I hope that that helped you. I hope that that lets you know how valuable it is. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give you a secret. Sometimes, but you're not close enough. Come here, come here, come here. No, come closer. Sometimes what you're feeling is not yours. What do you mean, Sakim? What do you mean it's not mine? That didn't make sense. I'm, I'm trying to follow you here, Sakima. What, what do you mean? I mean that sometimes the only reason you get to that place of being overwhelmed, that place of being depressed, that place of, of, of being discouraged is so that you can pray for others who are in that situation. See, you are chosen. That means that you are in a place where you can be reached. God can reach you. You are one of the ones who are listening to him. You have your ear to him. So when God wants you to intercede for someone. He may tap in and say, hey, 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 hey. And that may be the way he does it, by putting something on you that is not necessarily about anything that you have going on. You ever felt something and it doesn't even match your situation? You ever walked into a place and been like, it just feels heavy in here. I just feel sad all of a sudden. I don't even know what's going on. It may not be you. Remember, if you're somebody who talks to God and has opened your heart and your life and your spirit for him, then he is going to take advantage of that. Just as much as you want to speak to him, he wants to speak to you, even more so. So he's going to reach out. Just think about that. Think about what you're going through. There's always something behind it, whether it is the enemy trying to do something or whether it is God trying to give you insight into someone else's world. But it's not always about you. It's not always your situation that, that is relevant to what you're feeling and what you're thinking and what you're going through. There's a whole world out here. You know the truth. It doesn't mean you don't go through. It doesn't mean you don't experience trials, but you know the truth. So realize that you're in a place where you're elevated, where it's not, your normal is not just going through and just, hey, feeling it. Your normal is going through and then looking around to see who's behind this. Who, who, what is this about? Enemy, are you trying to do something? Lord, are you, what's going on? That's where you are because you have that line of communication open with God. So think differently about this, all right? When you get in your situation and you are feeling all these things, think about this. Think about these words, all right? I'm trying to keep these videos short, Lord, but you know I cannot do it for some reason. You get to talking and I'll just be going off on a tangent. Anyway, I hope this helps somebody and I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you'll think about that. And, um, you know, I love y'all so much and listen, you know, it's all real over here all the time because it's what the walk live. <laughs>